here. My name is Tanner Holmes. I'm a 17-year-old race car driver that loves to run around dirt tracks here along the west coast of the United States. Just got done with qualifying here at Red Bluff. Right now we're currently sitting third quick. Got an all right lap in. Definitely left it out there. Uh, left quick time out there, I should say. So that's a little bit frustrating, but we're towards the top of the charts. We'll see if we can stay in the top six to put us into tonight's trophy dash. A couple more fast guys are heading out, but not a bad start to the night. I'll keep you updated on where we ended up. The 18T has a lot of speed. It's going to be my, in my hands tonight to see if we can get our fourth win in a row. Well, 46 opens tonight at the Red Bluff Outlaws for the Vern Wheeler Senior Memorial. It is going to pay $2,100 to tonight's A-Main event winner. I said we were third quick after we went out. We were able to hold that spot. Track slowed down just a little bit, and it's already starting to slicken off before the heat races. Super confident in the 18T tonight. Obviously, we have been phenomenal these last three races, but we're just trying to carry that momentum into the final three of the season and be as perfect as possible. We're going to be heading out for the heat race now, rolling off from the second row outside starting spot. Here at the Red Bluff Outlaws, they only take the top two to the feature. So we're going to have to make some moves and head to the front. able to make it happen. We were probably the fastest car on the track. I just kind of got trapped on the top and the bottom happened to be really, really good and the cars in front of me were just battling and just kind of using a bunch of different lanes on the track and there was literally no way by. A couple fans that want to be in the video. What's your name? Brantley. Brantley and Blake. Blake. So uh, anyway, we're going to move on to tonight's B main event. That's not what we wanted. We wanted to be in the redraw, but we're just going to have to, you know, work through the B. So not we would have liked to transfer in the top two, but third kind of salvages the heat race and we'll move on to the rest of the night. So got done with the heat race here and we have two fans that want to be in the video and they were actually in one of our YouTube videos earlier in the season. We got Gage and Abigail. And I think last time we saw each other, one, she's got the Tanner Holmes sweatshirt on. Uh, we met on points race number five here earlier in the season. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out tonight and we're going to get after it in the trophy dash next. Johnston.
I've changed out all my gear back in my regular street clothes. Gear bags all packed up after a points race number 10 tonight, the Vern Wheeler Senior Memorial. Obviously, it did not go as planned for us. Sit you guys down here for one second. Uh, just wanted to talk about that B-Main event. I'm not gonna lie, after the heat race, I was pretty stressed out because I was worried that something like that would happen in the B. I knew we would not be on the front row because the top two in qualifying also missed the heat race, which put us starting third. And with some of the other guys that were in the B, I knew it would be tough, and if I made any mistakes at all, it put us in a bad spot, and then something like that could happen where on the back straightaway, about two laps in, I made contact with another car right front to left rear, and I would say nine times out of 10 in that situation, the right front is definitely gonna lose. I'd have to watch it back. I'm not sure if it was my fault or the other car. I kind of feel like it was a racing deal because I was just planning on trying to slide him and I was focused on just staying next to him and paying attention to what he was doing. And I don't know if I floated a little bit, but uh, all I do know is it ripped the wheel out of my hand and then literally ripped the right front off a little bit and I just torpedoed down the back straightaway. Super unfortunate that that happened. And uh, after that, it was gonna be an uphill battle. I went to the back of the pack and I was able to miss a couple of wrecks but I got collected in a couple but was still able to keep it running and after that it was just the Red Bluff Outlaw luck you guys saw we ended with a wreck we did have the trophy dash after that and I started fourth and ran third my car had so much speed tonight and that's what's most disappointing out of all of this because we definitely had a chance at four in a row in the $2,100 that was up for grabs but that didn't happen so we're going to talk a little bit more about our outcome a couple things that happened in the B main event the dash but the A main event is getting ready to roll out here soon I'm going to go cheer on my teammate Landon he starts front row outside. I would say he has a pretty good shot at getting it done. Well, my prediction was correct. Landon got it done from the front row outside starting spot and brought home $2,100. Very cool for Factory QRC. Before we end the video, I have a fan that wants to be in it, my good friend Nick. Nick, how was your night at Red Bluff? Good. It, it just sucked that town can't, can't get job done. Best thing about that, Coy got the, got the job done. My final call of the year. I can't say thank you to John, Tara, Tana for having me oh, to two wait with, with them and I uh, hope we can get, get them in California. Yeah. And uh, we wait in Chico next Friday with uh, the fourth day and hope we can get a call and you do you down here. And uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Nick. It was a lot of fun. Have a safe trip back home. Like you mentioned, Carly got it done. So after tonight's results, I would say pretty much 99% we are out of the championship running. It was looking really, really good after qualifying. And then after that, things just went downhill. It's crazy how fast your night can change here at the Red Bluff Outlaws. That's something I've talked about in my 11 years running here. You can go from the highest of highs winning three in a row to some of your lowest of lows. Now, obviously I'm extremely disappointed about that. Our goal is to win an open class championship and win as many races as possible and to not complete that goal of winning a championship this year absolutely sucks but it's also one of those things you just kind of move on from it fortunate enough one of my strengths is not letting things like that get to me you know it sucks that it happened and obviously you think about it and you want to get better but uh you know you kind of just move on to the next things fortunate enough we have a lot of great things planned out for 2021 and i'm not going to let me not completing that goal ruin our year there's plenty of things we're going to move forward to and sprint car racing is also right around the corner and we have a couple more kart races here to to chase a win after and then also the west coast nationals which is another thing high on my outlaw cart list of something to check off in the open division so it sucks that's how it ended but i do want to thank factory qrc jimmy ellidge durst incorporated burris racing tire adams investing and everyone else that supports the factory qrc carts we had three weeks of really really good luck and on the fourth week it just did not go our way so glad i'm safe and glad that the car's not tor too torn up the qrc guys are going to go through it and get us prepared for the final two points races we're gonna have a lot more fun content coming to the channel this week a great interview on wednesday for the podcast we're gonna have some videos involving fans and i'll see you guys all in the next one deuces